so. All right, so today I'm at Guitar Center right now. I just walked in to look around as usual. But I came out with this thing. The new MPC Touch. So my guy in Guitar Center is telling me that I'm the first person in the whole state of Florida to own one of these. Because I just got them like like an hour before I walked in there. So you good. You could go. Yeah, so I'm about to try it out. Well, I go into the studio now, I have a session right now, but I'm going to be testing it out over the weekend. And so if I don't like it, I can bring it back. Um so yeah, we're gonna see. See what I got right now. Next thing to know, one of my biggest concerns is that I have I have almost every drum machine that I can make. So I mean I might have to start consider just to start sell some of them. Right quarter now. mile, turn what? left to merge onto I-95 South toward Miami. Oh, okay. But I have the I love the Renaissance, that's the one that, that's the most recent one I have right now. I love that one. But it's just big and it's hard to travel with. So I was thinking about getting the the studio, the, the MPC studio. Um, sorry, the people who are watching this who don't know about all of them drum machines or whatever, talking about MPCs, drum machines. But yeah, I have the, another one, the studio, the 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 Renaissance. Sorry. So I don't want to get the studio to make that easier to travel. But no, this one is small and flat, so this looks like it even make a lot more sense too. But it's touch screen. So and hopefully I get some time over this weekend to go over it, go through it a little bit and see. Um my original guitar center say if I don't like it I can bring it back. But you know, if I like it I'll probably just sell the next one though because I don't think I need all of them drum machines that can do the same thing. But I guess Still in traffic. Still in traffic. Still in traffic. There yeah, are a lot of people always ask questions like, which one is better, is if it's drum machines or we have like some software you now, we have Logic and Ableton and all them things there, or just like other stuff, like Pro Tools, or just live. My thing with drum machines is not what I always tell everybody. I learned how to make music on an MPC. I, that's how I learned how to produce. Like, that's how I made my first ever rhythm. Um, I did have like a two, 2000, 2000, yeah, 2000. And I guess a 2000 XL, that's where they build like Red Bull and Guineas and 12 gauge and all of them kind of rhythm. There. And then I started using Logic 2009, yeah. Started at 2009. Bridging my mind showed me how to use it. Punch, um, Gacha, Gacha from Gacha Pan Records. I'm bridging them from Japan. He showed me how to use Logic. Um, and then after Logic, I got the, the Open Labs Miko Timbaland Edition keyboard. And then Timbaland was like my idol, so it was a no brainer. Um, so yeah, but the thing with drum machines now, yeah, I'm straight from the point. The thing with drum machines is like, one of the first instruments I learned how to play was the drums. So to me, when I'm using a drum machine, I just kind of get a different feel when I'm making the tracks from just like banging on the pads and stuff. But, um, yeah, and then sometimes, so when I just have different sounds spread across the pads, I come up with ideas that way. But most of the rhythms that I just list out, um, I never, I never, just sounds was on the pads and that's how the patterns came about and all of that, so. Drum machine helped my workflow a lot, but and they kind of just out of convenience I did stop using them for a while. Cause like Logic and all of the other things, them just so convenient and easy. You just carry a laptop and you don't need anything else. 
but kind of getting back into the whole drum machine vibe right now somewhat the renaissance is really good i use the renaissance and a lot of new upcoming things a lot of things that i did in the uk i use the renaissance and, and a lot of things that is going to be on on my new album the album with me and chino that's coming out early next year i think it just have a different sound it sound a lot of the sound them sound more hardcore and you know more punchy like you can change the beat rate on the drum machine and make the sound sound more rough and you know but that vibe so the only thing that's worse than being in traffic is being really hungry and being in traffic like when i look from the car then i'm just a pre right now i need to get to the studio so i can get this stuff going and get some food but almost reached the studio now almost reached the food things that look good right now and we are here super loops there on the back What up? Y'all in the um which room y'all in? In here. Huh? In here. The uh, icon? Yeah. Alright, so you were super dupe, huh? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna let you pause some time. this MPC because we've been working since I got to the studio and we're just leaving now it's like almost 5 a.m. Earthlings! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but we're gonna check it out though. Update you guys on it. Alright, respect bro. Yeah. 